Are you learning cello through essential elements? Then this is the video for you. Today I'll be going over number 89, which is Biolum Cabbage Down. So this song is a little bit fun because there are actually two cello lines written. One is the A line and one is the B line. So regardless of whichever line you choose to play, make sure you follow that all the way through. So if you're starting on the A line, when you jump down to the next staff, you also have to follow the A line. Um, same thing if you choose to play the B line, then you're going to stick on the B line all the way through the song. So in the key signature of the song, there are two sharps, which are F sharp and C sharp. And that is part of the D major scale. So let's play the D major scale. <laughs> remember the D major one octave scale, be sure to review my video where I review all of the one octave scales that you can do while in first position. I'll link that up above and below as well. So the time signature here is 4-4 four, four. and if you remember reading time signatures, the top number indicates how many beats there are in a measure. In this case, there's going to be four beats in every measure. Now the bottom number tells you what beat it is that you're trying to count. So in this case, when the four is on the bottom, that means you're counting quarter notes. So to summarize what the time signature says, it means that there are four quarter note beats in every measure. This one has a tempo marking of allegro at the beginning of the song, so that means that this goes pretty fast. The one thing to just always be careful when you're playing a fast song is that you start at one tempo and you're gonna go that same tempo all the way through the song. You don't wanna keep increasing the tempo and going faster and faster because then it's just gonna snowball out of control. Another thing just to note in this song is they started putting measure numbers in the songs and they were really nice and they put like a nice big box around it. So you can see on the second staff there, they put a number five and a box around it to indicate that's the fifth measure of the song. This will be helpful to keep track of in the future when the songs start to get longer and you quickly need to find a measure. Rather than starting to count measures from the very beginning of the song, you can look for these measure numbers throughout the song to help you count quickly. Rhythms that can be found in this song are quarter notes and eighth notes. And this tune is traditionally a fiddle tune as well. So make sure that you are being conscious of how much bow you're using for quarter notes and eighth notes, and you're trying to get this nice swinging feel to it when you are playing the song. And also because this song goes fairly fast, you won't need a lot of bow. So make sure that you're being really particular about exactly how much bow you're gonna use. You know, I wouldn't even really go past here at all. You probably use from maybe like here to here, a very small amount of bow depending on how fast you choose to play the song. If you look at the end of the song, there is a repeat sign. So that means in this case, you're going to go all the way back to the beginning of the song and you're gonna play it all the way through. So that means you're playing this song a total of two times. So I'll play through this song once uh, by myself and then I'll play through it again with the accompaniment that Hal Leonard provides. Here we go. Mm. Bylum Cabbage Down, Orchestra Arrangement.
message down. If there are any questions that I haven't answered, leave them in the comments below. Be sure to give me a thumbs up if you'd like to see more tutorials, and also hit that subscribe button if you haven't already done so. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!